Hey everybody, Martha Krejci here. I am here to talk about uh, Young Living's Boost Your Business or Business Boost. I can't remember what they're calling it. I'm gonna be very honest with you, but um, I'm here to expand on that or to explain it a little bit better even, okay? Um, so, uh, if this is your very first time here, do make sure that you click on the subscribe button and also the bell so you get notified whenever there's other videos on here, okay? We release at least one video per day and and sometimes more than that. So you've always got something to watch, all right? So um, let's just expand on what they talked about today, okay? Um, they're starting to move into some stuff that I already teach, which I'm like, oh, yes, yes, Woo! right? Like the angels are singing and I'm like, yes, let's do this, let's do this. So um, one of the things that they talked about was to reach out to people, okay? There are ways <laughs> to reach out to people though. So I don't want for people to like, just like, just almost bum rushing folks by like reaching out to them and, and saying like all sorts of weird stuff, right? Um, like the, the, hey, I'm a kid or the, the, like just being weird about it. The thing that I say to people whenever I reach out to them, I reach out to 10 people a day. That's my thing, okay, is 10 people a day that I reach out to. Now, some people reach out to seven people a day. Some people reach out to five. Some people reach out to three. It really is up to you and what is sustainable for you. 10 people a day for me is completely sustainable, so that's fine. Also understand this, that whenever you reach out to people, there's a lot of them that aren't going to say anything back and that's totally okay. It has nothing to do with you. The message may have even gotten lost somewhere. Their kid may have been on their phone, tapped the message and then got off of it and they don't even realize that you messaged them. They, who knows what actually happened? But at the end of the day, the thing is, is we're reaching out to so many people a day because we need to, it's, we, we get a few of them at least to be able to have a conversation with them. If you're reaching out to 10 people a day, you're probably gonna have at least two or three really good conversations out of it. Sometimes you're gonna have even more of it. It really just depends on the kind of relationship you've already built up with these folks. But in the beginning, um, when you reach out to 10 people, you're probably gonna get a, a good two to three conversations out of that, okay? So there, there you go. Don't think you're gonna have 10 crazy conversations all day long, that doesn't typically happen, okay? Um, now, whenever you reach out to them, what do you say? So the thing that I just say to them, it's very, very like easy breezy. Uh, I just say, hey, I was just thinking about you. How are things? Right? Hey, I was just thinking about you. How are things? Or if you don't know them, because a lot of us have people on our Facebook friends list that we don't know. <laughs> Uh, if you don't know them, what you do is you just go over to the page, you look at what they're interested in, look at where they live, all of that stuff, and then you reach out to them with something that connects you, okay? So say they live in Louisville, uh, Kentucky. Um, then you would reach out and say, hey, I just saw we were connected here. Saw that you live in Louisville, we were planning on coming down there sometime this year, whenever we can come out of our house. <laughs> We were, we were planning on coming down there sometime this year. What's something that we shouldn't miss, right? And it's just, it's bringing them into the conversation. It's building rapport. What it is not doing, you guys, is it is not selling, okay? It is not... Uh, say it's not like turning it into a young living conversation right away. Now, is there a way to be able to turn it into a young living conversation? Absolutely, yes. I have ways to do that. It's called convert the conversation. It's in something called go for gold. You can go ahead and look it up if you want to. Um, the link is in the description of the video or in the, I think it's a description. I don't know what it's called. The paragraph under the video. Anywho, so... Um, so you basically just say, hey, how are things, okay, to your, to your Facebook friends. And that's reaching out to people, all right? Now, uh, another thing that they talked about was a champion product. I love that they're talking about this because that is like my thing, right? Um, the way that they were talking about it is they were talking about to have like a champion product every week, I believe. I... Uh, I think that that's wise in your member group. I think that outside of your member group, uh, you you may find you may find that rough if you're expecting your all of your builders and all of your team to champion the same exact thing. 
okay? What people need to be championing is what has worked really well for them specifically. My understanding is that they were probably talking about within your member group. Within your member group to champion one product a week and to really drill down on that product and to get testimonials of that product and all of that stuff, yes, solid gold. Don't do that stuff out in public though, okay? When you do that stuff out in public or if you expect for your builders um, to duplicate that out in public, they may not feel the same way about Progestins Plus as you do. Okay, they may not have the same story about Progestins Plus that you do. So they're not gonna be as excited about it. And if they're not as excited about it, the energy of the entire thing is gonna feel sideways. They need to be talking about things that they're excited about, right? We have our own, what in Go For Gold, I talk about championing products. We champion like two to three products that you love, love, love that have changed your world changed your life and those are yours right now within your member group you talk about multiple things because at the end of the day you want for everybody to know all of the different products that there are that's wise but there needs to be a place that that happens right so in silver made simple which is my daily checklist. So I build my business in uh, two hours or less a day. I have daily checklists that show people exactly how to do that. It's called Silver Made Simple. In Silver Made Simple, I'm also um, showing you guys, teaching you guys every single day, Monday through Friday, um, about different products and how people use different products, okay? So you get to see not only what it's supposed to do, you know, like the words that we're allowed to say, like the the the, the description that would be like in um, in the catalog, but you'll also see a thread of testimonials where people have what they've used it for, what it's done for them, of course, in a compliant way, right? Because we're compliant across the board anyway. We're always responsible with our language. That's very important, you guys. Um, so championing products. Getting testimonials, which I just talked about a little bit already, but getting testimonials is always great. Um, so testimonials, you guys, are gold nuggets, y'all, okay? What we think about something is great. What someone else thinks about that thing that we love as well is even better, okay? Because when we share testimonials that other people are having and not just our experience, then what that does is it solidifies, it adds flavor to, and, uh, and it gives more authority and more weight to the actual experience itself. So here's why I love this thing. And then like, you know, an, a week later or something, here's why this person loves this thing too. And da, da, da. And these go all through. If you're in Go For Gold, these go all through. Like they're woven into the fabric of Go For Gold. Testimonials are woven through the fabric of everything because you guys, in straight up business building period. I don't care what company you're with. I don't care if you have your own company. Makes no difference. You guys, just in case you didn't know, I'm a professional business strategist. This is what I do for a living, okay? I don't care what kind of business you're in. Testimonials need to be woven into the fabric of what the public sees, okay? Period. Drop the mic. That's, it needs to happen. Needs to, needs to, needs to happen. Um, curiosity posts. I talk about them all the time. So, um, they were talking about curiosity posts. Something that I saw yesterday, um, some ideas for curiosity posts, I didn't necessarily agree with a whole lot um, just because they're not curious, they're engagement posts, they weren't curiosity posts. Um, so a curiosity post, a couple of them were um, that I saw at, at launch, which was awesome. Um, the ones that I saw that were actual true curiosity posts were the opportunity one, like where where he said that um, he was at at an event, like how cool it is to be around a bunch of people of the same heart, of the same mind, and um, da da da, like you have a picture of yourself at the event, right? That's a curiosity post. That's an opportunity curiosity post. Um, a product curiosity post would look something like, um, here's what the product did for me without saying what the product is, right? Um, that's a, a product curiosity post. What is not a curiosity post that seems to be spoken about at least yesterday it looked like it was spoken about like it is a curiosity post but it's not is an, an engagement post so um i think he, one of his examples was money is blank that's not a curiosity post um that doesn't 
engage curiosity. You guys, the, the entire, that's an engagement post. And those are okay. Um, they'll trip an algorithm a little bit, uh, but it's not really that much, actually, you guys. Um, the reason why it doesn't actually trip it that much is because January 11th of 2019, I think it was 2019, maybe it was 2018. Gosh, I think it was 2019. Almost positive. Now I need to look it up. <laughs> but January 11th, I do remember that part. Zuckerberg came on and he was talking about Facebook, about his company, right? He came on and he talked about where he wants his company to go, what his goals are for the company, right? His main goal, you guys, was community. Now, what does that look like actually? So community, you guys, is whenever you post something and then other people post things, but the real community comes from when other people are responding to other people's comments, okay? So here's what that would look like. You make a post, Joe makes a comment, Tammy comments on Joe's comment, talks to Joe about that. Joe and Tammy comment on each other's stuff. All of this is happening on your page. You are creating community, okay? So that's what, that's, that is an actual community post. And that is why Facebook groups, when done right, when done well, do really, really, really well. Like our group has grown to 11,000 people in less than six months, you guys. That's insane, but it just goes to show you when you create a good community, you are both um, uh, rewarded by the algorithm, but you also, I mean, people will start inviting other people into your community because it's value, right? But let me get back to the actual post. So, um, so an actual like a, an engagement post, I'm not a giant fan of it. And the reason why is it can it can easily look like if you do too many of them, which too many would be like one every two weeks, okay? You do too many of them and you start to look disingenuous. You start to look like you're like you're just chasing engagement. And you guys, engagement doesn't matter. Like the like and the love, that's like the drive-by engagement. That does not matter at all, okay? Um, and then the engagement when you're asking somebody to do something and then they do it, that's also noted in the algorithm, okay? It's noted that you asked them to do that thing, okay? And that's whether you did it in a video, because they know what you're doing. If, if you don't think that they can hear what you're saying on your video, then you need to rethink how you can add subtitles to a video, <laughs> okay? All right? So, um, anywho, don't ask people to do stuff like that in the video because that's it's it's going to actually negatively impact you. That's just a thing. Um, okay. Uh, Facebook, Instagram stories. So posting in Facebook and Instagram stories. I love this. I love this for giveaways actually, or for, um, giving away samples and stuff like that. I love it for that. Um, and the reason why is because, uh, in an Instagram story or in a Facebook story, what they're doing is they're actually responding to you through Messenger. Now here's the thing. Messenger is actually one of the heaviest weighted things in the Facebook algorithm, okay? And also Instagram, Facebook owns Instagram, in case you didn't know that. Um, so obviously the algorithms meh, look very similar, okay? So, um, so within the stories, whenever people message you, whenever you're messaging them, so messaging 10 people a day, remember? Whenever you're messaging them and you're talking to people in Messenger, they're automatically going to see more of what you put on, you're automatically going to see more of what they put on, and that is just going to be how it goes for a bit, okay? So when they're responding to your stories, they're hitting you up in the messenger. That's the only way to respond there, right? So then they're hitting that algorithm. Also, it's a one-on-one -on -one conversation instead of feeling like they have to comment on a post. So there's that as well. Um, share new products that were launched. They want us to share new products that were launched. I love doing this. Here's the thing I don't wanna do though. Um, Okay, so there's something called push marketing, and it was something that has been done for years and years and years, and, and now is, is, thank goodness, going away, okay? Um, push marketing basically means you have this message and you're pushing it out into the public, okay? It looks a lot like graphics that say, 
we got this new stuff and it and it costs this much and new today and da 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 push that is like push it's marketing to people people have stopped looking at that stuff okay whenever they see it they may see a pretty graphic and they may stop and look at the pretty graphic okay if they're already in young living that will be okay for them so here's the thing do that stuff in your groups okay do it in your member group do it in your other if you're in go for gold you know about the other groups right do it in your groups okay don't do it public facing you guys public facing what we need to do is we need to be sharing our story how we use this product maybe whenever you get your lemon soap which man i cannot wait and the valor deodorant yes Yes, I want Valor in my armpits. A hundred percent, I want Valor in my armpits. So, um, so I'll do a live about Valor in my armpits, right? And I'll be silly about it. But that's the thing is then people will ask me questions. They will not ask me questions, you guys, if I say Valor deodorant new today. A, they don't know what Valor is, okay? It's within Young Living that we know what Valor is. Somebody from the outside looking in doesn't know. They don't know until you tell them about it and you tell them your story and you tell them how you use it, right? That's what needs to happen. It's called soft education. That's what I call it anyway. So um, the lemon soap, man, when that comes out, my daughter and I are both super excited about the lemon soap. So I'll be doing a live just of us just soaping up our hands with the lemon soap. And I'm going to let Nora take it away. She's going to go ahead and, and talk about the stuff that she's excited about. Like, ooh, it smells, she's five. She'll say all the great stuff. Oh, it smells so good, right? That's, that is the stuff that needs to happen. Not the graphic that says, buy this today. It's new today, da, 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 da. That happens in our member group. Because in our member group, we say, okay, this is new today, go get it, blah, 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 right? Because they get it a little bit more. But also, just to be super clear with you guys, we need to make the barrier to entry uber low, okay? So we need to make sure that whenever people are buying stuff or when we're suggesting it, like in our member group, we need to have the number that they just type in to be able to get that thing. So yesterday, I was telling them, okay, here's the number of the bundle, here's what it is, you guys, so they would be able to jump in and get it, right? Um, whenever you're sharing sharing the post, have the number of the product that you're talking about, not publicly, but privately in message or in um, member groups, you need to uh, have the product number there. So they can go into the website, go to the search function, type in that number, boom, pow, done, moving on with their day, right? They're not going to look for it, get confused, not add it to the cart, forget what they're doing, their kids screaming down the hall. Like that's all stuff that happens. But if you make it super easy, then they can do what they want to do. How many people have, let me know in the comments, right? How many people have, have wanted to buy something? I laugh because I do it all the time wanted to buy something and then just keep forgetting about it just keep for this is me with clariderm you guys i swear i've been trying to get this stuff for like six months i finally bought it the other day but like it had to keep coming top of mind for me to finally freaking remember. It's the same for everybody else. Don't treat anybody else like they're any different than you, you guys. Let's make it easy. Here's the easy stuff. Go do it. Um, and product stories. They were talking about product stories too, and then we're all done. Product stories, you guys. Um, that can either be the story of why the product was created, which I love, 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 okay? From a business story perspective, when you can find out the why behind the business, when you can understand this product was created for so-and-so because they had this and da-da-da-da-da, this was specifically created for them because of this, that is that is awesome. That is spectacular storytelling. You guys, business is storytelling, okay? If we try to make it anything else, we are so gonna fall short on this thing, okay? Um, so product stories, and then also product stories on how the product has affected you, how the product has worked for other people. This falls alongside um, testimonials, okay, you guys? So um, I just wanted to expand a bit on what was talked about today and, um, and, and this week, from what I understand, it's gonna be sort of like the same thing this week. 
But um, but yeah, if you guys want, if you're not already in my Gold Getters group, it's a free group. It has free resources in it. There's other ways that you can go down rabbit holes and, and have things that you pay for and stuff like that. Nothing is very expensive at all. And the reason why, you guys, is because I need, not I want, I need for it to be accessible to you guys. If you cannot consume it, if you if it is not accessible to you, then it's not going to help you build the business that you deserve to build, right? It's not gonna help get oils in every home. It's not going to help fulfill those missions because if you can't afford it, then you're not gonna be able to get it, right? So I keep everything very, very, very inexpensive for that reason, but the group, like I said, Right now anyway, April 2020, I don't know when you're watching this, but April 2020, we have 11,000 people in there just within six months. Free resources, free challenges, free stuff all over the place, okay? So anywho, you have an awesome day and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.